Hello everyone, Dusty Unicorn here. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. It's a very sunny outside and uh, I'm happily in the shade here at home. Anyway, I wanted to show you how I do my ribbon, um, ta mm, ribbon tassel things, ribbon dangles, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so I'll show you. First of all, I like to use a thimble. So I bought these at Amazon. They're pretty cheap. I got a whole bunch. So what I do is I take an awl, A-W-L, and I find the center, which is right here, and then I just proceed to push. I'll twist it a bit, but I continue to push and just, yeah, got something stuck on my arm. Um, <laughs> It definitely isn't one of my videos until something is either attached to me or I lose something. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, so here I am pushing, 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 pushing. Oh, there it goes. All right. As you see, it's in there. Now I'm just going to push it all the way through. All right. And there we go. We have a hole. So I wanted to show you that. This actually I use for making um, holes in diapers. But anyway, that's another story. <laughs> All right, so we'll get on to this after, but first we'll look at the ribbons. So I have a bunch of ribbons and some yarn here. Um, you know, just grabbed a bunch of stuff. I also have fabric here too. I've not used fabric to do any of this stuff yet, but we'll try that. All right, so let's go. We have a purple one. So how uh, I have cut a piece of wire. So this is how long my wire is, and I kind of want to make it, so this is going to be my dangle. I apologize. I'm just rambling on, and I haven't told you nothing about what's going on. I cannot believe the color here. This looks blue in the video, but this is friggin' purple. Like, it's purple. P-U-R-P-L-E, not B-L-U-E. Purple. Okay, anyway. <laughs> What I'm doing is I'm making a ribbon tassel and I, you know, of course, do I have any here to show you? No, because I'm like that, but you'll see. Surprise coming. <laughs> I like to put, okay, so I'm gonna have all my ribbon. It's gonna be like this, right? So all the ribbon's gonna be dangling like this. And then here's your thimble right here, right? And then you'll have your top part, right? Okay, so here, I'm just giving you an idea. So there's the tank, okay, whoo, there's your dangle, okay. But what I like to do is put a little extra with some beads and stuff in the middle. I cannot believe I don't know where any are at this moment. Oh, I apologize, everyone. Please forgive me. Okay. So I have this piece. So what I want to do is make sure this is just a bit longer than the ribbon. So maybe about here. So we're going to have our ribbon at this length. Okay. And even if it, the ribbon's shorter, who cares? So I'm just going to cut this little bit off. There we go. So I want my ribbon to be like this because I will be folding it in half. Now my ribbon is... Where's my 12-inch mark? Did I lose that already? But it was on there with a... The, never mind. It was on there with a... Whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. Anyway, we will measure it just because we should. Okay, the ribbon is 12 inches and, you know, maybe we'll say about 15 inches. How's that? Ribbon's 12, 15 inches in half is seven, seven and a half. Okay? So you want it so that each piece of your ribbon. Okay. So let's pick some that go with that. Oh, look at this fancy one. Oh, that'll be perfect. It's okay if some are long, a little bit longer, a little bit smaller. All right, um, should we add some of this? I've never used this in my ribbon thing, so let's do it. So I'm cutting in regards to this purple one here. We'll ignore that one for now. Here we go. The purple, even though it's looking blue, it's purple. All right, I don't use an awful lot. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends on my mood. Like I said, I have a bunch of this stuff here. Hey, here's some pretty um, the yarn. I like this. It's pretty, of course, it's pink, so why not, right? Right. All right. Now, I'm trying to make a shorter video than the other time where I did my, my boho beads, which, gosh, that was ugly. All right. Oh, look at this sparkly stuff. Let's add some of that. Where's an end? 
Oh, here's an end. Alright, I'm gonna add some of that. That's fancy. Cut just cut the sequin off. Who cares, right? Um, what do we got here? We got some of this stuff. Hey, let's bling it up a bit. Purple and green, no. Oh, this is a thicker one. This one's nice. Is that that? That's fancy. Not really, but hey. We're gonna go with it. Oh, look at that. This is like two tone. Okay. Um, what else we got? We got some of this. All right. So you can see I'm just going along. I don't care what's what. I'm just, you know, doing whatever. Right? Okay. Let's add some blue because we don't really have any color in here or any other colors than it looks like pink. All right. Oh, here we go. Here's some white. I don't know. I don't know where I get all these things. I just have them and I'm like, oh, look. I have tons of ribbon. This is one reason why I do these. I saw somebody, and I'm sorry I can't remember, but there is somebody on YouTube that does them with thimbles. Actually, was she doing ribbon or was she doing something else? I can't remember. But, yeah, it was really cool, and I fell in love with it. So I was like, oh, my God. Oh look, here's a white piece. All right, I think we're good. All right. So, we have our ribbon and when we put it in the middle, oh, we don't have all of the ribbon. All right, so we have it and we put it in the middle like this. This will be our dangle and we can always fix it up later. So this is going to be the dangle. I kind of made a mess already. No, I didn't make a mess. I just kind of didn't, you know, my brain didn't go very well. Okay, I am going to take an extra piece. My apologies. Where is the clippers? There they are. We're going to take an extra piece. So you need a, a longer piece and you need a shorter piece. The shorter piece is the one that's going to go in the middle of the ribbon. Okay. Here we go. And we're going to put it in the middle or the approximate middle. You're not the one going in there. All right. Here. And the reason why you could use a, what is it? You could use, what am I thinking in my head, people? Come on, read my mind, read my mind, you know. Um, you could use an elastic or a piece of string, but I like to use wire so that I know it's not going to come undone or get broken, all right? So I'm taking it, I'm bending it, and I'm twisting Twisting, twisting, twisting. All right. I'm going to cut that off. And then I'm going to just bend that down. Okay. So there is, it's wrapped. All right. What you can do is take this have one at the top and one at the bottom. So that is what I'm going to do. So I am going to take another piece. I don't want too much at the top. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece, slide it under, okay, and then make a, again, twisty twist around. Twisting. So that's three pieces of wire. And it, like I said, it just depends on how big you want your pieces. Okay? I'm going to cut off the excess there. If I put my things the right way. And again, I want to do that on the bottom with this longer piece. We're going to put it on the bottom. Sometimes you can do this beforehand. I'm just, you know. I like doing things the hard way. Come on, you've all seen my videos. <laughs> all right, twisty twisties. Okay, twisting. I know, how does she get anything done? I don't know. All right, so here we go. All right, so let's fix this a bit nicer. There we go, so here's my little 
thing here, my one for the bottom, and this one's for the top. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Just gonna shove that through that hole, you know, if we can find it. <laughs> there we go. And give it a pull, and it will be better once I put these on. But ta da! Look at that. All right, so I'm gonna give it a bit more of a pull. I am gonna. There we go. Now what I like to do, oh, I'm lying. Again, not thinking clearly. Look at this poor thing. I just used and abused it in my last video, so it's like rebelling. <laughs> just stickiness everywhere. It's nice when you um, glue it. It is easier, you don't have to, if you're a professional unlike me. Um, <laughs> I'm just a fly by the seat of your pants, girl. That's it. That's all you get with me. Okay, so I'm just going to put that on there. Stick you back in there. What are you doing? In the hole. Oh, just so many references the way I'm speaking right now. I apologize. All right, so now that's going to be glued in there. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll just hold her down. I gotta stop talking. I just gotta stop talking. Just seems pretty crude and rude and all that stuff. All right, why are you not? You got a stick on there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna find me some baits, some pretty baits. Okay, hey, guess what? We're gonna use some of these beads because I like them. Maybe no, not those, but I like these ones too. Oh, you're still stuck on there. Okay, you see, I like to harvest beads, but unfortunately, these are still stuck on here. Is there any in them? Oh, there is. Okay. Now, some people would use those little cup things that, you know, sometimes the beads don't like my wire, and they give me attitude, like this one. It's like, I don't like it. Oh, actually, no, you'd go nowhere. This one's pretty. Are you going to give me attitude? No. Okay, here we go. No. Oh, are you kidding? You did not. You did. You did not. Let's just stick the glue in here then if you're going to be that way. You know what I mean? You know, just do what you got to do. All right. Is this bead giving me attitude too? No. It's going all the way down. It will stay down once I twist it, but, you know, it's just going to be that way. Okay. I would like to use one of these beads if they, they're going to all be jerk. No, that one just went down. No, But hey, you know what? We got some purple sitting here from the last video. Oh, yeah. That's nice. I can't believe you don't want to be friends with anything. And we have some pink, too. So let's play with some pink. And we have some silver, so we could put some silver in there, too. Can you guys see? Sorry, I'm just making a mess here. They're pretty pink ones, too. Look at that. How about we get rid of this one and put on the pink one? Oh, no. It's... Look at that. Okay, I guess we're having a shorter thing here. I don't know what's wrong with my wire. It has never done this before. This is so weird. That's all I can see to you, too. Okay, let's put on a silver ball, then. And maybe another one of these, and then we'll call it even on the top. I apologize, everyone. I didn't think that this was going to be a jerk, but it is. All right, so let's be gentle with the top. We can do whatever with the bottom, I guess. All right, twist. Twist. And now we're going to twist these down. And we all know how much I like this part. Squish that over. I apologize. I'm just having a hard time here. You guys will give me a moment. We're going to pause for a second and then I will. Okay, so of course, while I was doing it, it broke again. So what I've done is I've just made a little thing here. Okay. You can paint these if you'd like. You could do whatever you want. You can wrap them with paper. Okay, so here we go. We have this and I still have my little 
thing here. Now you can decorate these, so I'm just going to put a few beads on there. Not a lot, just a few, because when it's like this, they're just going to hang down. And yeah, so I'm just going to put a few beads on there. So I will have them tipped up. I am going to use that pink bead if I can get it on. There we go. And a couple of purple ones. There we are. There we are. Hello. There we go. And I think we'll go with another pink one. I like these. All right. And when they're down, sorry. When it's down, it's going to be down here, so it's okay. So I'm just going to now I'm going to try to close this. Oh, I'm doing that wrong. I apologize again. And we're just going to wrap it because I like wrapping so much because I said get at it. All right. Cut that. Where are you? All right. Squeeze that down. All right. And now, hey, where are you going? So now you have it, and down here are some little danglies, but you don't really see them too much, but they're in there. Now what I'm going to do is add a little charm, and I know I have one here, or I have one over there, but I know I have them, and if I don't, then we'll make a little charm, but I do have them. Oh my word, I can't get this open. Okay. Now I want to use a charm. If you guys will excuse me, I'll be right back. Sorry, I thought I had it all under control. I don't. I never do. All right. We have jump rings. That's a clasp. But these are jump rings in here. Sorry. Jump ring. Ta da. Now, what I like to do is I like to take chains like this, but we're not going to do that today. Today we're just going to do the jump ring, and we are going to, what should we add to it? I have pineapple, I have bees, I have little dangles, I have, what else do we have? I got a heart here. That one's pretty. It's a pretty heavy heart, but it's pretty. I have a little loop thing yeah all right what should we put on it but I also have more little things here too I have this one here which I really like um, the butterflies are not danglies what are those ones uh, these are is that a dangle no but this leaf is so we'll grab a leaf and let's grab one of these little things down here. I have another thing here. Like, I love these. This one's actually really pretty. It's a little purple tangle. And then the little leaf. Yeah, there you go. All right. So, I'm really good because I can do this by my hand. There we go. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're going to adhere that to here, not even adhere it, I lied. We're going to add it to there. And then we will close that. We're closing it really good. I like to close them really good because you know how frustrating it is to get something, um, yeah. All right, and there we are. And you have a couple of danglies. Now, what I said about these, like all your thing here, I am gonna trim this a bit just so you can see the um, dangle part better. So I'm just going to trim it a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. It's up to you what you want. Like I, I could have put tons more beading here, but again, it's, it's you know, what 
your preferences. Right? Here we are. Okay, so now you can't see it as well, but now there's the dangle. I can cut some more, but there's your dangle right at the bottom. I just added the beads in here just to add a bit more color. But yeah, there's your bottom. You can also add dangles from the side too. But yeah. So now you have a tassel and you can hang it on anything and it's got little dangles on the bottom. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, again, I didn't want this to run too long, so I hope you enjoy it, and if you do, please share, and if you do enjoy me, my goofy self, and all the stuff that I do, please like and subscribe. We'll talk to you later. Bye.